Hello, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. David Guggenheim and Simon Kinberg test 2021 market with untitled action spec uh, with supernatural elements. I have got the script for this. Um, I know exactly what it's called. I can tell you all about it. Uh, and I can tell you whether I think it's going to be good or not. So that's what we're going to be diving into today. This is an exclusive, ladies and gents. Um, it's, um, yeah... We'll cover the piece of news first. We'll see what deadlines say, um, and I'll let you know my opinion of it. I've read the script. It's 129 pages. Interesting, is is my brief uh, opinion. So it says exclusive. Uh, the market for new material and big spec script vehicles proved strong last year despite the pandemic. First up to test if specs and packages pick right up will be Safe House scribe David Guggenheim. Uh, and, produce, and producer Simon Kimberg, the duo that previously teamed on the series Designated Survivor. Now, Deadline have said uh, that their sources said that Guggenheim has written a script he developed with Kimberg, who is producing. The result will be brought to market this morning uh, by Verve, which reps Guggenheim. The untitled script is called Karma, by the way. Uh, has a big action concept with franchise potential, a supernatural element, and a big lead role for an actress. I don't think it's got franchise potential. It's called Karma, and full spoilers, just about the synopsis anyway, it's about people that are reincarnated. So anyone, any, like just watch this space, because people say I talk nonsense, and people say I don't have sources, but yeah, whatever. Um, it's about people who get reincarnated, and there are three forces at play, uh, Boone, yeah, Rachel, uh, and Gartner. And um, one is a protector, the other is um, like a saviour, and the other is a killer. That's basically two of soulmates, and then they apparently go through time constantly playing out the same things time and time again. There's some twists and turns, but I really don't think it has franchise potential. I think if you're going to liken it to anything, it would be that, um, like that Charlie's... It's, it's, it's interesting. So there's a lot of scenes in this that play out. Uh, David Guggenheim ripped off um, Assassin's Creed to a degree. So to understand and live their past lives, they get in something called the womb. And um, the liquid goes over them. They get transported back and they relive their past lives for a little bit. And then they get all the memories and the... I guess the the skill set that they once had, and they basically become super. Not they're not superpowers, but they kind of become superpowered at the end of it because they have all this knowledge of you know hundreds of years of lives. Um, and it, like it's a blatant rip off of Assassin's Creed in that regard. There's even jokes uh, akin to the Matrix. Someone saying, "Oh, you know how how are you gonna how are you gonna let me know about everything that I used to live?" And then he pulls out a red pill. And she goes, "Really?" And it's like, huh, "No." I was a failed comedian in my past life. So there's there's a lot there. Um, but I don't think it's got franchise potential. I think this is this this will make a fine Netflix movie. That's about it. That's genuinely about it. Um, they like I am a big fan of when they use the uh, title of the film in the film and they do use that, you know. The end is I'm going to teach you about karma, which is a bit, uh, uh, it's a bit on the nose. Uh. Um, and it, I'll tell you what, it's 129 pages. It was a drag to read at a certain point. It's very predictable. Um, and it was a drag to read. So I, I don't know whether I think, look, I mean, it, inevitably it look, looks like it's going to get um, greenlit, right? Uh, and yeah, it could be, it is, a, it is a big lead role for a leading actress, for sure. Um, and it, like, it, it's a role for anyone. Like, it's not painted as that. Like, Rachel is the character. She could be anyone. She could literally be anyone. Um, it's like a girl next door type character turned Mary Sue. Because she she gets hit by a car. And then suddenly, it, it all everything comes, like, she starts getting basically superpowers. She can speak Arabic all of a sudden. She knows what the doctor's been saying all of a sudden. She knows how to treat herself all of a sudden. It's quite, and then it turns out she's the, it's quite Mary Sue. Like, it's quite Mary Sue. Um, anyway, Guggenheim last year sold our man from Jersey to Netflix. This is why I think it's going to be a Netflix one. 
uh, in a seven-figure deal and is writing it as a star vehicle for Mark Wahlberg to play a blue-collar 007 protagonist with Wahlberg producing with Steven Levinson who hatched the idea. That's the um, our man from Jersey. Now, Kimberg last year made a seven-figure deal for his uh, first spec since Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Here comes the flood sold to Netflix. Again, I think this will be a Netflix film. It lends itself very well to being a Netflix film. It's everything that they like. Um, uh, and that will be directed by Jason Bateman. Uh, right after that came another big sale. This one at Apple TV for an African set thriller vehicle for Idris Elba. And he's writing and producing Battlestar Galactica as a film. On the small screen he wrote uh, and is EP of the Apple TV Plus series Invasion. He directed his script for the international spy thriller The 355 with Jessica Chastain, Lupita Nyong'o, uh, Penelope Cruz and Fan Bingbing. That's a great name. Uh, and Diane Kruger, which Universal releases on MLK weekend uh, in 2022. Look, so, uh, mm, it's called Karma. 129 pages. It's about an hour and a half. Give or take. And there's some big action set pieces in here, but it's very much... You right, mate? You creeping? You all right? Good boy. Yeah, I'll stop and talk to my dog mid-video. Why not? Uh, so anyway, it's about 100, 129 pages. Be about an hour and a half. There's some big action set pieces in here. But yeah, it, it's kind of an Assassin's Creed rip-off, really. Um... Yeah, don't know. Don't know what to make of it. I don't think it's particularly good. Uh, I, d I also, look, Deadline are painting this as like, oh, they're going to test the 2021 market with untitled action spec. I've got the title. Um, I don't think that's going to be a good test. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I really don't think that's going to be a good test. Simon Kinberg has a habit of doing this. He really loves... There's nothing wrong with female-led movies. But all of his female-led movies tend to be the same. And I, and it's a bit boring. You know, like, there's the a Aegis International, I think it was, from the script. I can't remember exactly, but it's some international spy agency that the villain's been cooking up that secretly the villain but is pretending to be the good guy. It's all very tropey. Um, and it was, it was a chore to read, actually. Um, I, it took me a long time to read. I had to take a break. I was... It was that, yeah, not that great. Um, you know it's bad when you have to take a break, you know, midway through it. So, can't say I, I, I particularly like the script. And I can't say that I particularly think that this will be good. Um, but there you go, ladies and gents. Karma from David Guggenheim and Simon B uh, Kim Kimberg. Um, not the best. But watch this space, ladies and gents. You heard it here first. I have the exclusive. I'm leaking it. To hell with it. Why not? Maybe you guys can get on the uh, channel and we can have an interview with you to talk about it instead. Um, I, I, yeah, I do think it's a bit of a shame, actually. I do think it's a bit of a shame. It's not It's not the best. Uh, it's very tropey. And like I say, very um, seems very forced in terms of the kind of Mary Sue attitude. But that's what seems to sell in Hollywood, so I won't be surprised if this gets uh, picked up. Shame. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. Although you've not even read the script, I guess. But never mind. Um, again, watch this space, ladies and gents. You heard it here first. Karma. Rachel Boone. Yeah. Not, not that good. Anyway, cheers. Take care.